Hey Ryan, so I see this is still not compiling for you. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, so I see you. You. Um, I can tell you read this section, and you. You know you have a. You know your dot uh, notation um, here. Um, there's a problem with this. Uh, parameter, which we'll talk about in a minute. But before we even get to that, I want to talk about um, this um, method that you're you're using to call here. So, how, where do these word names come from? These these method calls, um, you you can't really just type any method name and expect Java to know how to do it, right? So. Um, the trick is that basically, so let's look at this one here. We have um, a lot object, right? And we're calling this method get highest bid on it. Well, the reason that we can do that is if we look in the lot method, there actually is a method defined that's called get highest bid that returns a bid. Okay? So there has to be a method defined already in the in a class somewhere um, that um, has the same name. Um, so you can call it. Okay? Um, so let's, let's see. And so it has to be spelled exactly the same way. You can't um, have any you know, it has to have the same capitalization, all the same letters, and all that stuff, okay? Um, another way you sometimes see these um, method definitions uh, provided to you is in uh, documentation mode. So if we go up here to this drop down menu and pick documentation, you'll see this documentation mode, okay? And uh, let's look at get highest bid again. So what this is telling you is, um, if you want to call this method, um, you need to use um, get highest bid. It has to have parentheses after it, and there are no parameters here, so it doesn't um, it doesn't take any parameters. So you're going to call just get highest bid without any. Um, parameters, okay? And that's the same uh, signature, method signature that you're going to see in the code, okay? So this is telling you, you call the method, get highest bid with, with no parameters, and it's going to give you back a bid. So let's look at, again at what that looks like in um, auction. So yeah, so what I'm saying is I know that lot that the lot class has this method get highest bid it doesn't need any parameters and what it's going to return I can use this assignment because I know it returns a bid object so I can I can create a local variable that's a highest bid and it's going to assign that to me okay so that's how that works so let's take a look at lots what is lots lots is a Um, array list, okay? It's an array list with with lot you know objects inside of it, but the um, lots object itself is an array list. So in order to know what methods we can call on lots, we have to do something a little bit different because um, the array list class is actually defined in the Java libraries. That's why we have to import this here. It's a it's um, defined in the Java libraries that are given to you, but you can't read them directly the way you can read the source code for some of these other classes. So what you need to do is go and look in the Java class libraries. You can look it up this way. And um, actually I have it already set up over here. And then um, the class we want to look at is ArrayList. So let's scroll down here. Let's see. Array list. And this is similar to the documentation view that we saw of the lot class earlier. 
that we're looking at. So this tells you all the methods that you, you can legally call from an array. Okay, so you can call add with um, a parameter and um, you know, there are different parameters you can give it. You can call clear with no parameters to remove all the elements in your list. Um, and there is, there are two different methods called remove. Now, if you want to call these methods on an array list, they have to be spelled exactly the same way that you see them here. R-E-M-O-V-E, -E, all lowercase letters. And that's your only option. You, you don't have the option of saying, I, although it makes sense to say remove lot, right? But remove lot is not a method that ArrayList knows. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to complain. Okay? Remove lot is not a method that, that ArrayList knows. Now, let's look at our parameter here. So we, so we have um, a method called remove. That's a, that's a method, right? So we can use this method, but what do we want to give as input to remove? Let's take a look at that. So um, let's go back to the thing. Okay, so there, there are two versions of remove, okay? One of them takes um, an integer and one of them takes an object, all right? Um, so here we have yeah, remove with an integer, it removes the element at the specified position, shifts any subsequent elements to the left, subtracts one from their indexes. So if you have um, four lots, 0, 1, 2, 3, and you pull out lot number one, then the, uh, uh, the two lots are, uh, at the end are going to be shoved over. So what was lot number two is going to be in slot one, and, and lot number three is going to be in slot two. Now. Okay, so that's, that's um, one of the things that they wanted you to really attend to in this, in this problem. But anyway, for now, let's just look at this. So what does this mean? So if this says I can remove um, index is the name of the variable, int is the type. Okay, so I can remove... Um, um, if I give you uh, an integer that's a valid index for the for the array, then I can remove the um, object at that position, and the object will be returned to me. This e is just a placeholder for whatever you created. So um, the fact that you made a array list of lots. Because your, your lots array is made up of lot objects, then um, in, in this case, this E is going to be uh, um, the lot stands for a placeholder for the lot class. Okay.